Assalamu alaikum everyone. Hope you all are doing great. Everybody, we have already discussed a chapter message in a bottle. You remember? In today's video, we are going to discuss exercise A, question answers, comprehension questions of this chapter. Let's start from SLOs. Okay, here you can see an old man dancing and a bottle which is carrying a message in it, right? Okay, let's start from SLOs. Let's rewind our video and think what was message in the bottle the chapter about. Well, everybody, this chapter was about a girl and a boy. Their name was Afia and Hassan. Remember? They lived in a small beautiful village by the sea in the south of Pakistan. There was no school in this village so they were not able to write and read. But here you can see I have shown a graphic in which both are writing. How was it possible? Well everyone, one day while praying they found a message in the bottle and they realized that they can't read it right because they are not able to read and write because there is no school in their village they have never learned it but the old man the shopkeeper old babu taught them how to read and write okay now let's move on let's discuss question answers first question is a part is where did the children live where did the children live i just mentioned everybody yes the children lived in a small fishing village in the south of Pakistan. Moving on to next question. And the next question is, what did the children's fathers do? What did their fathers do? Yes, the children's fathers were both fishermen. Yes, they used to catch fish right okay let's move on to next question what did the children do all day as there was no school in the village there were nothing to worry about in their lives so what have they done what did they do well the children built sand castles chased crabs swam in the sea climbed coconut palms and played all day long right Let's move on to next question. Why did the children not go to school? Why were they not able to go to school, everybody? Why? What do you think? Yes, the children did not go to school because there was no school in their village. How would they be able to go to school when there is no school in their village, right? Okay, next question. What did the children do when they found the bottle? Okay, we dis discussed that they found a green bottle and in that bottle there was a paper and some writing on it, right? So what did they do? They were not able to read anything. What have they done? They just teared the paper apart and threw it, threw it in the sea? Well, no. When the children found the bottle, they opened it and took a piece of paper out of it. Why did the children take the paper to old Babu? Well, everybody, it's clear that the children were not able to read. So, they have to take the paper to a person who was able to read. So, the children took the paper to old Babu because he could read, but they couldn't. Next question, how did old Babu help the children? Well, everybody, old Babu read them the letter and then he started to teach them how to read and write. Everyone, here in the third word, first line, I have read the word read, R-E-A-D, read. But in second form, when we are discussing read in second form, the spelling of this word will remain same but pronunciation will be different okay so second form of read is red not r e d red not color red r e a d red now the question is how would we able to know that this r e a d is read or this r e a d is red 
well everyone you can get the idea from the structure of the sentence here you can see question how did old babu right did is telling that the question is in past tense so while writing answer you will use second form of verb to ma make sure that the answer is also in past tense right so we are going to use r e a d and we are going to read it pronounce it as read okay okay everyone so let's move on that's all for today's video i hope you understood the answers well take care bye bye